Zika is three years old. She got to us when she was five months old and she's been with cows her whole life, here anyway. And this is what she typically does after babies are born. She is nearby. A lot of the mommy cows um, still don't like her close to their babies for a few weeks, but she's always close by. She's always in the pasture with them somewhere. Once they get a little older, she'll follow them around and we can often see Zika snuggling with the calves or in the middle of the cows snuggling. And she hangs out. She's learning to respect the mama cows very well. So do you need protectors in the pasture with longhorn cattle? We do. We're about to tell you why. So if you've been keeping up with Salee Ray, you know that she was getting really close to calving. And this is her new baby, Felix. And she calved in this front pasture by the house. And if you notice, um, she has really long horns. Um, they're still growing. They're not even close to being done. Trucker next to her has long horns. Snappy across from him has long horns. We have predominantly long horns on our property right now. And some people believe that because they have long horns, they can defend themselves. And that is definitely true. However, we still have a livestock guardian dog with our long horns for various reasons. And coyotes are not one of them. So this is Zika. <laughs> and she's playing with our house dog. But Zika lives with the cows. And we keep live in our house. <laughs> We love Zika. Zika is an Anatolian Shepherd. Anatolian Shepherds are livestock guardian dogs. As you can see, she is social. Um, we do pet her and she comes when we call her. She knows how to sit. She knows how to stay. She lives with the cows. She loves the babies, but the mamas don't like her near the babies and she is learning to respect that. So when this little guy was born a couple days ago, Zika watched from a distance. And as soon as Salee Ray decided she was done with the placenta, Zika quickly ran over and got some of that yummy goodness. But for the most part, Zika keeps her distance from the babies until the mamas are okay with it. We do have coyotes, but that is not a threat to our cows. Coyotes aren't the smartest um, critters. Um, it would only take two of them, really just one of them to take down a cow. Um, but they don't they don't have much stamina so if it's not an easy kill they're not going to go for it these are the coyotes out here where we live anyway it may be different um where our viewers are living um our big threats are buzzards so we have a tree if you can see that tree right there that buzzards love to hang out on and buzzards are scavengers so they're going to sniff out blood and innards and whenever you have a baby born when a fresh baby is born there's lots of blood and lots of smells so we had tons of buzzards up in that tree um, yesterday and the day that she was born and Zika was here watching them and she does go after flying things um, not so much the little finches and robins and cardinals that we have but the big birds like buzzards and crows um, I have seen her go after several buzzards, as a matter of fact. We have a neighbor who has some um, cattle down the road from his house. And this, uh, they went out one morning and they had a dead calf that had been picked by buzzards. And there was a ring of dirt around the calf where Mama had been running those buzzards off or from around her fresh calf. And then just got worn out and couldn't do it anymore. And the buzzards have a lot more stamina, especially when there's a lot of them. Um, a lot more stamina than the mothers do. So yes, that's why we have a guardian dog. Another reason we have Zika here, <laughs> who loves to play, um, is because of wild dogs. Um, we've never had issues with wild dogs, and I am um, believing that's the case because we've always had a livestock guardian dog here. But wild dogs are most definitely a threat. They are smarter than coyotes, they are more vicious than coyotes, and they will go after larger animals like big cattle. Um, and young calves, even um, the weaned calves, you know, they'll go after. 
So wild dogs are a huge threat. We have friends that have 30, 50, 70 head of longhorn, and they have lost calves to wild dogs. <laughs> They're running around playing. So we keep a livestock guardian dog because of wild dogs. Why do we not like donkeys? <laughs> we know a lot of folks who have donkeys. Donkeys are fine. We had a bad experience with a donkey. If you're going to get a donkey, know this. Get a Jenny or get a Gelding. Do not get a Jack. We had a Jack and he killed one of our baby goats and tried to attack our calves on a regular basis. Another reason we don't get donkeys is because donkeys will go after anything that's threatening them. So buzzards are not a threat to a donkey. And in our experience and from people we know, the donkeys aren't going to go after the buzzards. And y'all, I'm telling you, buzzards are a threat to newborn calves. Um, sometimes donkeys will go after wild dogs. But I tell you what, you get enough wild dogs and they'll go after the donkey. I love livestock guardian dogs because they will go after anything that's threatening their livestock or threatening their charges, whoever they have been in charge of, and she is in charge of the cows. If you're wanting a livestock guardian dog, I'm going to tell you this, and some of y'all may not like this, but do not go to a shelter. If you need a livestock guardian dog to protect your livestock, go find a breeder because it is highly likely that, she's sniffing out silly, right? It is highly likely that that dog is bred for protecting livestock. It is highly likely that it was born in a pasture or close by. It's highly likely that it's got a mom and dad on the premise to teach it exactly what to do. We love livestock guardian dogs. We will always have one. And she does a fantastic job. And we hope this helps anyone who's looking to protect their livestock, whether it's goats, sheep, jerseys or longhorns or anything in between. They can be social and friendly.